Let's find out what Sarah makes of it. Well, Sarah, very good morning to you. Welcome. Good morning. Um, this, this is a very odd story. I mean, I found myself quite surprised, I don't know whether you were, uh, that this was even going on. I mean, the Nigel Farage story kind of kicked it all off. But it now appears that when you lift that particular stone, it's actually a lot worse than even Nigel Farage was alleging. Oh, yeah. I don't think the words odd and surprised are really doing this justice. Mm. I tried to do a bit of research, see what was happening. There's a Guardian article from 2018 that said people were having their bank accounts closed for no reason. The only reason they could think was that they their country of origin was, say, Nigeria or Iran, mm. and the bank was trying to avoid the risk being associated with those countries. Right. But what we've got happening now appears to be really different. So I've been having lots of arguments online with people over Nigel Farage, and they say, oh, he's money laundering for the Russians, or oh, he didn't have enough mm. money for a Coots account. But that can't really seem to apply to Keith Jordan and his group. And while I was having a browse on Twitter before speaking to you, I found out to my absolute shock and horror, Professor Leslie Sawyers, who is the um, Equality and Human Rights Commissioner for Scotland, has had her RSB bank account shut down after 32 years and no reasons given. So the words odd and surprise don't yeah. cut it for me. I'm actually terrified. Yeah. I bank with the NatWest. They're, they are they control our, um, the Royal Bank of Scotland. Am I going to get an email saying you've got 60 days to find another account? I, I appreciate banks have their rules, they have their regulations, but you cannot contract out of a statute. And those of us who think that sex is real and it matters have a protected belief. Banks just can't willy-nilly decide to cut off our accounts. I mean, just substitute, say, a black person or a gay person for a woman who believes that sex is real and it matters, and you see how appalling this is. I mean, that's, this is the problem, isn't it? Because it's an arbitrary kind of rule that they've instituted here, which is not based upon somebody's financial regularity or somebody's financial uh, business at all. It's got nothing to do with your finances. It's everything to do with uh, whether or not it's something that they agree with. Well, that, that means it's not arbitrary. It's very deliberate, isn't it? The journalist Stuart Campbell, who runs the Wings Over Scotland um, yeah. account, had his accounts pulled for no reason. And he's really worried because sort of high up in the banking team is quite a uh, influential and powerful trans woman. Yeah. So just what is happening here? As, as you said, bank accounts are essential. You cannot function in modern society without one. If we're being told that we may not have a bank account because our political views don't accord with a bank's political views, mm. this is insane on every level. Banks are not there to push politics. They're there to look after money, invest it. I don't know, do what banks do involving money. We leave well, apparently, well, lately, what, what banks do involving money is mismanage it, lose it, and then expect us to bail them out, which makes this oh, even yeah. more ridiculous, particularly the NatWest Group, who is still a third owned by the taxpayer. Well, exactly. This is a bank that we own, yet it is pulling the accounts for no reason of people. Uh, the only reason we can think is that these people have, at some time, expressed a view that sex is real and it matters. Yeah. And that seems to be enough. So where are we going with this? Mm. This is the majority view. So are we going to end up with vast sways, 90% of the British population denied a bank account? Yeah. Where is this going? Well, exactly right. I mean, the Royal Bank of Scotland have issued a statement around the um, Professor Leslie Sawyer story uh, in which they say uh, that they're not able to discuss the decision uh, with you or provide you with any further information in relation to our decision making. Um, that was what she and her husband were told. So they're not even actually obliged, it would appear, legally, to tell you why. Well, the, these are the kind of horrors I thought we had left behind um, with the collapse of the Stasi in East Germany. Yeah. It seems to be about making people non-persons, undermining them psychologically, humiliating them, casting them out because they don't have the right views. I thought this was something we had left behind. It, it seems that I'm wrong. I do not think banks can contract out of the Equality Act. I had an interesting conversation with an equality dis discrimination specialist lawyer right. who says the problem is the Equality Act just wasn't designed for these kind of things. Mm. It was designed to protect individuals. So people who are parts of groups and organisations may find it more difficult. But I certainly think the individuals like Professor Leslie Sawyer, and I assume Keith Jordan could take action as an individual, please, please take them to court. Yeah. Thousands, millions of us will give you money to fund your lawyers. Yeah. We have to stop this because once our bank accounts are removed, 
we are utterly disabled from participating in society and objecting to this and we must we must all stop fiddle faddling around this is really really serious yes we are allowed to hold a view that sex is real and it matters we're allowed to express it and we're also allowed to have a bank account while we do so right and i don't know whether you know the answer to this but i mean what physically happens to somebody like um professor sawyers uh, when they say to her uh, we no longer wish to hold a bank account for you. What happens to the money if, the, if there is any in that bank account? Does it get put into... Because legally, this is quite an important process, it seems to me. You know, I, I remember my time in America, and I can't imagine this happening in America, uh, where the free speech actually is genuinely relatively free compared to here. I can't imagine that they could do anything with your money. So what do they actually no. do? Well, all I know, because this is such a, a unique and horrible thing, mm. I haven't heard of this happening until now, no. is I think um, Stuart Campbell was given 60 days to find another account. But the problem was he never received the email telling him to do this. So right. I think he had to sort it out in a hurry. I imagine if you don't sort out another account, they would have to put the money in some kind of protected account. I'm assuming they can't possibly take your money, but who knows? Mm. Who knows what next week is going to bring? You know, we are non-people. We are considered bigoted, hateful, inhuman. So I'm quite sure if we don't do something now, I wouldn't be at all surprised if a couple of weeks we're having a conversation about people's money disappearing. Yeah. Or maybe we won't be having a conversation at all because you will be shut down. Well, let's hope not. Um, we'll have to go on the underground uh, networks and it'll be like something out in 1984. Um, I'm wondering now whether I should go back to, uh, a few days back when I got an email from my bank saying um, just a, re a refreshing sort of, you know, uh, reminder of the terms and conditions because I haven't, as usual, uh, read them. Uh, so I now probably will have to go back and see what they say because um, obviously I'm in the public eye to some extent. I say things yeah. which obviously people at the Royal Bank of Scotland certainly won't agree with um, and certainly people in... Uh, Stonewall might not agree with either. So, I mean, yeah. this is a, a ridiculous situation, isn't it? Yeah, of course they have a wide discretion. Of course, if they have evidence that you are money laundering with the Russians or the Chinese, they can do what they like. I'm definitely and they, not doing that. And they can't tell you because that would be tipping you off. But if, as I suspect, for Professor Leslie Sawyers and Keith Jordan and Stuart Campbell, the reason is we don't like your politics, then if it's right that there isn't an easy route through the Equality Act to stop this, then that in itself is very, very wrong. And the government has to step in urgently. There are the citizens are being disenfranchised by the banks who, as you say, have screwed up and taken our money mm. to stay alive. We cannot, we must not tolerate this. It, it is the beginning of the end for any democratic society worth living in. Yeah. And also, what about their links to uh, what you might regard as countries which have questionable mm. human rights records? For example, I don't know what their policy would be on uh, dealing with Saudi Arabia, for example, or dealing uh, with many other countries in the world uh, which might be considered questionable uh, in all sorts of different ways. I mean, I know we know that there are sanctions against Russia, but it wouldn't surprise me at all to discover that uh, Coots Bank or NatWest or Nat Royal Bank of Scotland uh, have got... Um, you know, shares in certain companies that might be considered unethical. I mean, you know, where does it all end? It's the hypocrisy that really stings. You saw it with, with the Pride celebrations. They've got no problem at all in taking money money from organizations that operate and profit in countries where gay men and women are killed yeah. by operation of the law. They don't seem to care about that. I'm quite sure the banks don't really care about the ethical considerations mm. of dealing with those sorts of regimes as long as they are making money. Mm. This seems to be a way for them to get some bonus points to stop that small minority of people who seem to inexplicably have governments, state organisations under their thumb. It's a way of getting cheers and plaudits from that tiny, tiny group. Mm. It's got to stop. How have they got so much power? I think, well, because we didn't see that it was happening. A lot right. of work was done under the scenes. But now it's out. There is no excuse now for ignorance. Individual people are coming up and saying, our accounts have been closed after 30, 40 years and no reason given. Mm. We're not money launderers. We ha we're not banking with coots. So what the hell is going on? Yeah. We need to know. And government, I'm afraid, now needs to step in. Yes. The bank appears to be out of control. Yeah, absolutely right. Couldn't agree more. Sarah, thanks very much indeed. Sarah Fillmore, barrister uh, and uh, member of the Fair Cop Group.